Previously on Quest for Wonder. My wonder's escaped! To the Science Museum! Sorry about x-ray diffraction back at the DNA. Well, I could get an x-ray. No, we're going to go to the fastest computer. The working of a Russian supercomputer is highly complicated and is best done by a qualified computer scientist or engineer. And the result will be printed out for you to read next episode. Is it all still in Russian? Da. But I've been reading between the lines, and you know what I see? What? Nothing. They don't put anything between the lines. It's blank. So, when I read between the lines, I see... What's that noise? A smudge, I think. <gasps> oh, hang on. What if... What if... Your wonder got trapped in a signal the last time you were being recorded. You mean...? Yes, you left the studio after being filmed staring at an eclipse in somewhere wait, fictitious. Wait, 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 what do you mean, left the studio? What? It's real. I go to real places and look at the real things for the real science of real things. Oh, very costly, isn't it? Very costly. Robin. Well, OK, look, well, well, fine. You learn something new every day. Actually, I don't. That's too many things. It would get confusing and I forget how to tie my shoelaces. You don't have any shoelaces, you're a puppet. <laughs> so, I reckon your wonder might have got sucked into the recording equipment and is now desperate to escape. I don't think that's how it works. OK, so what about if, when we're talking the radio together, your wonder got beamed up with all those Radio 4 waves and got mixed in with all of our complaints from astrologers? That sounds about as implausible as astrology. Typical Leo. Pisces. It's odd that a lot of Pisces are actually typical Leos. Yeah, I saw a Venn diagram on that. Anyway, the I The procession thought... of the equinoxes. Is it? Yeah. The Earth's uh, spin axis processes which means that the constellations of the zodiac are not in the places that they were when astrology was first formulated. Well, I'm going to throw away my Pisces mug now. Anyway, Taurus. I... Look, I reckon it's still worth a look. Is it, re is it really? Is it, is it, is it, is it? Yeah, yeah. Is it, is it really? Yeah, yeah is it, this way. Come is on. It re yeah, is this it, way. Is yeah. It? yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Is it? Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it? Look, this way. It is. Oh, look. It's a 2LO. Excellent. Their guitarist did our theme song, actually. It's very good. 2LO. Oh. E. This was what was used to transmit radio by a brand new company called the British Broadcasting Company. Oh, I mean, I know there's been budget cuts to the BBC, but still... No, no, no. In the 1920s. This was what sent out the first ever BBC transmission all those years ago. Oh, right, so the first archers. Originally, wireless radio was mainly for the military, but soon it was being used for the general public with news and sports and all sorts of things. Yeah, you and me talking about entropy like experts. Exactly. Except back then, after you sent out a brief transmission, you had to sit and wait for ages and listen to all the other radio waves in case someone else was telling you to shut it down. Well, we get told to shut it down all the time. Yeah, well, that's for different reasons. Oh. Anyway, now, instead of just radio waves, we send messages out into space and then we bounce them back to Earth with satellites for radio and TV and all sorts of things. So your hair goes into space before it ends up on a flat screen in Dorset. Yeah, yeah it goes first class. So you're on TV in space as well. Uh. That's it, then. If your wonder is used to first-class trips into space, that is exactly where it'll be. Come on! That's not exactly how it works. Look, we'll just look into space. It'll be easy. Come on! You're not really getting this, are you? Not really. No, but come on! You're not, you're not, are you? It's sent as radio waves. Invisible patterns of electricity and magnetism that soar through space at the speed of light. You're not going to be able to see them. Well, we're not going to be able to see them with that attitude, are we? Well, you are actually going to see them with the right wavelength because that will be visible light. You see? You're not going to see the radio waves. Hmm. They have longer wavelengths than your eyes are sensitive to. You can see electromagnetic radiation, of course, because that's what you do see. Exactly what I said. 
Really? Hmm. 